even at Walmart, they got lost and found. I was in there today. I don't hear nobody. And the church is the only place that does not have a lost and found department. High five your name and say, we ain't got one of them. Oh yeah, we got everything else, but we don't have a lost and found department. As a matter of fact, when people get lost, then most of us really don't care. But if there ain't anybody here tonight that can recognize how important it is, because if Jesus is concerned about the last, the least, and the lost, we ought to be concerned also. The word says. And that Jesus the Christ has been found fraternizing, feasting, and fellowshipping with publicans and sinners. Yeah. Publicans were tax collectors. That's right, dog. That's right. When you see the word sinners in the text, these are rank sinners. Yeah. Uh, these are sinners that one might think is beyond the reach of God. Yeah. And the Bible declares, my brothers and sisters, that Jesus, again, was fraternizing, feasting, and shipping with these kind of individuals and you ought to be happy that he was. Yeah. There's somebody here tonight I know, I know, I know you're protesting by the elevation of your eyebrow. I see you right now. And you're saying tonight that ain't me. I ain't no sinner. All of us are sinners. And yet some of us have been saved by grace. Turn around and tell your neighbor I've been saved by God's amazing grace. drunk and fall in a ditch, you get drunk and go to bed. <laughs> Come on, tell your neighbor, drunk is drunk. Drunk is drunk, God. Oh yeah, you may never rob or steal out of a grocery store, but if you steal paper, paper clips, pens, and pencils from work, stealing is stealing. That's right, Doc. I don't hear nobody. Oh yeah, you may never go to where they're flashing their flesh on the floor. You know what I'm talking about. But if you get if you watch it on on the internet and you got magazines under your pillow. Amanda. Amanda. Help somebody. Oh yeah, I'm looking at some of y'all. Y'all get mad talking about people that go to the casino boat. They always at the casino boat, but if you play peanut knuckle for pennies at the family, you can get That's right, Doc. Turn around and tell your neighbor, sin is sin, and all unrighteousness is sin, and somebody tonight ought to be able to praise his holy name that you are a sinner saved. Of the master, I have, come I have come to see you to say that which was lost. Which was lost. <laughs> Jesus, in response to their chastisement, their confrontation, their conflict, Jesus tells a parable. That's right. All right. You will notice that this is not parables, no S on it. It's one parable. It's one parable with three different and distinct illustrations. In verse 4 through 7, there's a word about a lost sheep. In verse 8 through 11, there's a word, my brothers and sisters, about a lost silver. 12 through 32, there's a word about a lost son. At night, you may not know nothing about sheep. You may not know nothing about silver, but somebody here tonight got a junior. Did anybody here tonight got a junior? Anybody here got a child that has become wicked and wayward and wanted? Anybody up in here? I've got one. Preach, Marvin. Why are you going to do it here tonight? Turn around and tell your neighbor, I got a junior. Sisters in the wilderness, but that corn, that shepherd, that sheep.
silver was lost in the house. That's right, Doc. Is it indicative of the fact that you can get lost in the house? Amen, Doc. When I read that passage of scripture, Brother Preacher, this will give you something to peruse when you get to the house. I took the three things that that woman did to find the coin. The first thing she turned, she lit a candle, said it was dark. The word said that she swept the house that night and then it was dirty. She searched diligent that night and then it was disorganized. And if there ain't anybody up in here know it's hard to find uh -huh. silver coins in a dark yeah. dirt, it's all in my house. But then down is the word about a long summer. Yeah. It's the longest, my brothers and sisters, of this illustration of any part of this parable is pregnant with possibility. Yeah. I was reading it today and it jumped out at me and said, preach uh -huh. me. Amen. And I hollered back at it and I think I will. Amen. Is there anybody here tonight that has ever looked at this powerful, prolific parable? I picked up a preaching from the pulpit. Is there anybody here? I'm going to try to get some fresh water out of this old well. The first thing I noticed is the youngest son's request. Now the word says, and he talking about Jesus. Saying unto them, talking about the Pharisees and the scribes. That there was a certain man that had two sons. The younger of them said to his father, Father, give me That's right, the portion of goods that falleth to me. Now you got to watch the text because the boy leaves home saying, Give me, but he's going to come home saying, Let me. And that's indicative of the fact that you got to watch how you leave the house. Some young person, they need to hear me tonight. I know you're going to tune me out and turn me off. But I want to tell you tonight, if you're going to leave home, you better watch how you leave the house. He leaves home saying, give me. And comes home saying, let me. You don't ever know how you're going to have to come back to the house. And you don't ever know when you're going to have to come back to the house. That's right, Doc. Yeah. 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 You know, that's the tragedy of some of our children today. The Menendez brothers, they killed their mother and father to get their inheritance before time. That's why you can't tell your children what kind of insurance you're going to leave around. Don't get no You'll be in the upper room before you walk. You'll become a part of dead demise and the party before you want to. Is there anybody here that know if they come in there now talking about give me this, give me that, can I have that? Anybody here know you better watch it? I tell my family all the time, whatever you find in my pocket, that's going to be it. You want to know why I'm doing all my giving while I'm living, then I'll be knowing which way it's going. When I get to the lawyer, it ain't gonna be long. When they get to the lawyer, they ain't gonna have to sit down long. Be in a sound mind, he's spending all. I don't hear nobody. Let's have a little fun with this one here tonight. Boy, a lot of y'all got children. My brothers and sisters are always waiting. They waiting around. You don't ever know what your child is thinking. That old lady that raised me. I never would think any bad thoughts around mama because mama, I thought, could read mama. Somebody know my mama. Somebody got a mama like my mama. Mama said, boy, I know you ain't thinking what I think, mama. I ain't thinking what I think. The text says, yes, sir. he asked for his inheritance before 
Now the Bible says, and he talking about the Father divided unto them their living. Yeah. His living. Yeah. Which implied that nothing was theirs. That's right. That's right. It always was his. Right. Right. And every now and then you got to tell your children, this ain't yours now. I don't hear nobody. I know some of you got the children with you. You can't say that this weekend. Come on, help me. And some child here tonight talking about you sure messing up my hands. You messing up my hands. But the text says he divided up the them his living. Because the law of inheritance, my brothers and sisters, would have required that the older boy would have received two-thirds of the right, estate. Right. Amen, amen. One third. In case there was an unwed sister or sisters and a mother left, he would have gotten two-thirds. Right. That younger boy would have been given one-third of the inheritance. Right, right. I want to suggest to you, my brothers and sisters, when you think about it here, the younger boy, he asked for what he got. But thank God he did ask. Now we miss a whole lot that's good about the boy. He didn't steal it. He did ask. He didn't take it. He did ask. He's a bad boy, but he got some good traits. I don't hear nobody. Not only is there a word about the sons, the younger sons' request, there's a word about the younger sons' rebellion because the text says, and not many days after, the younger son gathered. That word gathered literally in the Greek literally implies that he converted all of that to cash. He somehow or another decided that everything that he had in his possession 